happy to meet you here. Yeah. I mean, you've had great success in swimming. Tell me, you've Ulster titles, yeah. Irish medals. Uh, three times Ulster Junior Show Course champion. Uh, 16, uh, 15, 16, three times back curl Ulster champion last year as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And I was Irish champion two years ago. Brilliant. Uh, I think it was uh, 15 years year ago in the 100 back. You must have to train an awful lot for oh, that, yeah. do you? Yeah, um, I train about in the pool from, it could range in a different week from six to eight times in the pool and then three times in the gym. It's a huge commitment, do you enjoy it? Yeah, you have to, you have to enjoy it. I'd say you do. Yeah. And do you have early morning starts? Some early morning, mostly evenings. Evenings, or, yeah, yeah. Does it get in the way of school? Uh, no, because as school comes first, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Once swimming's over, you have to focus on education. Yeah. Like swimming will only take you to about 25. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and tell, tell me about your dyspraxia. And uh, Were you aware of it yourself as a youngster? Uh, I always fell and got injured. I was the person that got injured. So I probably wasn't aware of it, but my, my parents sort of knew that there was something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and give me an example of falling, what, playing football in the yard or something? Yeah, I, like I really still probably not that good at football, even though I've played it a lot. Yeah. I sort of had to have to learn stuff really young. Like I learned to ride a bike at about two years of age. And then I'm able to do it now. But something like football that I only started to learn at nine sort of affects me now because of yeah. it. Yeah. Because you didn't start early. And obviously other, other young boys don't understand that. Yeah. So that can't be easy when you're nine. No, it's not easy. No. They're thinking, why can't I do this? And, yeah. yeah. And you're going home frustrated, I presume. Yeah. So what would you say to parents of other dyspraxia? You had the swimming. What age did you start swimming? Really young. I think it's better for people with dyspraxia and stuff to start young and then you're able to work on it from there. But also you can pick some, every like case is different. Sure. People can pick stuff up later. It must give you huge satisfaction to be able to compete at that level without the frustrations of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. And is there any other way dyspraxia affects you? Yeah, I get very tired during training. Like, I would have to go to sleep a lot more than other people. But that's just something that you have to do to get get up to that level in swimming. Yeah. And it affects school quite badly. Uh, because you're tired. Yeah, and also, it, like, my reading speed is slow. Yes. And I can't read for long periods. Yeah. My writing is not neat. And no matter how much I work on it, it's just something with <laughs> DCD and dyspraxia. I've seen it. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. And is, is it a frustration sometimes if teachers don't fully understand it? Yeah, I feel like yeah. some teachers don't understand it. And then there's some mm. teachers that just don't want to understand it. And that can annoy me personally yeah. because I feel like I appreciate people that try to understand. And there's just some that just think, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah. Just that seems to be one of the big things that yeah. people think, oh, there's nothing really wrong with yeah. you. I find that. Well, I have to confess, I used to think in in my family that my daughter was awkward and clumsy. Yeah. And I didn't fully understand it or didn't appreciate it, which yeah. wasn't easy for her, no. obviously. My mum's very good about it, but sometimes yeah. she'd even forget. If I dropped, like, uh, sauces or something, she'd forget about that. But it just takes time to learn. Yeah. As long as you're open to learning, I feel like I have time for anyone that's open to learning. You know what yeah. I mean? Supposing a child is, is nine or ten and not good at football and yeah. they haven't begun swimming, yeah. it's still not too late for them to no, take up. No, it's never too late. I feel like trying to keep active and starting something because with DCD, you know, there's no such thing as can't. I believe the stuff that you can do, and there's always ways around stuff. Like, there's, it's not just me that's made it in like DC, yeah. DCD. Like, I believe you can do anything that you put your mind to. There's some limitations, but. If you work hard enough, you'll be able to get it. But I've no doubt there'll be some boy or girl watching this who's going, no, I can't do anything. I've, I'm, I'm nine or ten and it's, it's not happening for me. They need encouragement yeah. as well, don't they, to yeah. go again? I was always learned when I was young, hard work always beats any talent that you have. Yeah. And, you know, if you work hard at something, if you work hard enough, you'll be able to do it, even with DCD. Yeah. Now, there is some things, coordination and all, but you have to work around that. That yeah. There's never one straight way. You can always get around to stuff. It's a matter of not giving up on yeah. it. Yeah. Persistence will over, over yeah. always overcome resistance. And presumably sports clubs yeah. need to be mindful as well of... Yeah, I feel like sports clubs sometimes are the problem. 
They don't understand, in no. fairness, yeah. Just, they, don't, they don't understand. And I don't think they've had enough education to understand, like, yeah. around the DC yeah. and stuff and dyspraxia. I feel like it's sometimes just haven't been exposed enough to them type of things. It's yeah. just, it's, it's hard for them because they're not used to it. We're in school, there's loads of people with stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what, and what are your ambitions now? Uh, I would love to go abroad to New York to do uh, like my A-levels or B-Tech, yeah. be able to further my uh, swimming career because where I am in Northern Ireland, it's, it's not very good for training. Yeah, I get the best out of what I can do, but yeah. I'd love to just get a, a proper program and see what I could do with that. Have you ever been had unfavorable treatment because of your dyspraxia? Yeah. At the age of 10, I was told to stop any sport uh, because of my day to day. And me and my mum went home and said... But I didn't, what, was that a teacher or a coach? Uh, or? occupational therapist. And me and mum went to it and we said, thought, saw that, we're going to do this and we're going to make it. And from there, I've always worked hard and there's no such thing as can. So we were going to, like, at that time I was getting injured a lot from rugby. So I had to, I used to be really good at rugby, so I had to stop rugby and go into swimming. And it's worked for me. Yeah. Sounds like your mother's determination, though, was a big factor in it, wasn't it? It's, yeah. it's rubbed off. <laughs> Mum's saying was always persistence will always overcome resistance. Dyspraxia, I mean, winning a national championship is a yeah. massive high point. Yeah. But the reality, there will be low points. There will yeah. be, yeah. What what low points did you have? Uh, when I'm growing with DCD, I get really prone to injury, like really prone. And I've got injured this year and last year. This year was a big setback because I was trying to train to get my European junior time, yeah. 204. I was on target for that. I was getting there and then I got injured and that was six weeks out, uh, six, week, six yeah. to eight weeks out of the pool and now we're four weeks out of trials. It's, it's too much to get back yeah. and it's, it's, it was gut wrenching. It was, it was tough to take but there's always another chance and yeah, exactly. I'll be back yeah. and I'll, I'll do it. Every sportsman and woman unfortunately yeah. Everyone goes through gets it. that at, at different points. Yeah. And hopefully now you'll kick on and not have any of that. It actually makes me more stubborn to come back. And, Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do the best that I can do. If I can, if I can PB now, I would, but I can't. So I have to train extra hard yeah. to get ready to PB. PB is personal best, just yeah. uh, for the those who aren't big swimmers like us yeah. too. Anyway, look, it's lovely talking to you, and I wish you well. So the lesson is, stick at it, and yeah. there will be low points, but stick at it. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.